All right, hey guys, and welcome back to this week's video. Now, in today's video, we're gonna get aquarium supplies at the dollar store. This was a huge video a couple months back. It's pretty old now, but I made a video going to the Dollar Tree and getting a whole bunch of stuff for your aquarium, and that video did really well, so I'm back with part three to this series. So today, I not only went to Dollar Tree, but I went to the 99 cent store and found a whole bunch of products. I found some stuff that's specifically meant for aquarium use and then a whole bunch of things not meant for aquarium use but are super, super beneficial to the aquarium hobby. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and throw you over to those stores. So first up, we got the Dollar Tree right there on the right. We'll head in there first. And then on my left, we got the 99 cent store. So starting out, we have the non-stick scrubbers. Now these are made of plastic and they come in a pack of four for a dollar. These are great filter media. You can throw them in an aquarium sump, you can throw them in a canister filter, and they provide a great spot for bacteria to grow on. Next up are some adapters for your wall, like a plug extender, I don't know what it's called. But I don't really know how well I would trust something that deals with electricity from the dollar store. Regardless though, it is here as an option if you need some more plugs on your outlets, you know, you can hit the dollar store up. Might not recommend it, but they do have it. Now, in the same aisle, I came across something really, really amazing. These grabbers right here. I didn't think that these were that important until I bought one. So you'll see that later in the video, but these are super handy and I highly would recommend picking one up for a dollar. Right below those grabbers was some Velcro and suction cups. These are just small things. I recommend these for, you know, using heaters. You can clip heaters with the suction cups to the glass and you can also use the Velcro for hanging stuff in the aquarium stands or really anything like that, even tying up cords. Same thing with these zip ties right here. You can use them to tie up extension cords or, you know, aquarium cords just to make it a lot neater behind your aquarium stand. Another thing that is super, super useful are these mini cups right here. These are 22 red solo cups. They're tiny and they're only a dollar. I use these to pre-portion out fish food when I go on vacation. If I don't have an automatic fish feeder, using these and having someone just dump one cup in a day makes feeding super, super easy while you're out of So that was it for the dollar store. Now moving on to the 99 cent store, I found these clamps. Now these are hose clamps. For only a dollar you get two. These are great to hold your hoses in your tanks while you're doing water changes. Right next to them, I also found a whole bunch of scrapers. These are super cheap and were great for scraping algae. Now this was actually $3, not a dollar, but for $3, a light timer, pretty good. Next up was some more extension cords. Now these were more expensive. These were not a dollar, but once again, I wouldn't really trust them from the dollar store. Stay away from that maybe. I don't know, haven't tried it. Here is the real fish section. As you can see, lots of fish bowls. Cannot recommend those. We don't like fish bowls. This is horrible. They should not be selling them. I don't know why they do. But they also have a surprising amount of fake aquarium plants, all for only a dollar. They also have some plant substrate, as you can see, like gravel, I don't really know. But then I also saw this lava rock. Now this is great aquarium filtration media and it's pretty cheap. Also saw their fish food. Would not recommend dollar store fish food. It's probably super cheap and very, very low quality. I would never feed that to my fish. Now something good for feeding fish are these green beans. Now for only 79 cents, you can get a can of unsalted green beans. These are great for plecos. I've seen people who breed plecos dump a whole can of these into their tank and the plecos go crazy for it. Obviously, if you have a small tank, wouldn't recommend feeding a whole can. And then last but not least, vinegar. Another great aquarium essential used to clean mineral deposits off glass and equipment. Okay, so I just got everything I needed. I showed you guys way more stuff than I actually bought, but I did buy some stuff and I'll go ahead and show it to you as soon as I get home. Okay, so I'm back from the dollar store and I wanna show you the things I got. First thing, this little grabber right here. Now this was only a dollar, so don't expect it to work that well, but this should work good for reaching into aquariums, moving frags around in salt water, maybe moving rocks around in the koi pond. I'll show you a little bit of this later, but I thought this was a great deal for a dollar. I also got measuring cups. The one cup and the half cup work great for measuring salt for salt water tanks, and then the tablespoon, teaspoons, all these, these work great for medications or fertilizers in freshwater tanks. Next up, I got a silicone hot pad. Now, I read that these are great to put under aquarium pumps, protein skimmers, stuff like that, and it reduces vibration on the bottom of the glass, so it makes them a lot quieter. Mainly in the sumps of saltwater tanks, this would work, but you could also put this under canister filters and stuff like that just to keep things really quiet. I also got these little knockoff command hooks to hang things inside the aquarium stands. And then I got two baskets, each a dollar a piece to hang inside the stands. My idea is to put these on the door so when you open the aquarium cabinet door, these are like stuck to the door, if that makes sense. And that will allow me to put all my foods and stuff like that in the stand, nice and clean and maintained, hopefully. I'm gonna go ahead and try to install these and I'll take you along the way. But first I wanna test out this little grabber. You see that leaf right there? I'm gonna try to grab it. You see that? 
it worked. For That was worth a dollar in itself right there. So if you have a few hours, you could go along the whole koi pond bottom, pick up every stray leaf. Uh, I don't think it would work with rocks. Yeah, it kind of slips on the rocks. Actually, if you get it at the right angle, you could do it. Overall, for a dollar, highly recommend this. Okay, now before we go check out the rest of the dollar store products, I want to throw you back to a few days ago when I got a new koi fish for the koi pond. Flashback. Little update on the koi pond really fast. All the koi are doing really, really good, and they're getting pretty big. Plants are dying back because it's cold, but other than that, the system is doing amazing. I did just run out to PetSmart and get a new koi. I was there buying some medication, uh, and I saw this guy. Ignore the ducks in the background, but he's a really pretty butterfly koi. Colors are very faded right now because he was in the bag, but he looks really cool from the top down, and I think it's going to be nice to have another gold koi in here. Other than that all gold Ogon koi right there. But yeah, all our koi and goldfish are doing really, really good. We have those two silver ones. We have the Walmart koi and the two Petco koi, as well as a couple goldfish. But they're all doing absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy temp acclimate for a while because he's coming from like 65 degree water to like 45 degree water. But I'm just gonna make sure his acclimation's slow and it's very easy on him. And then we'll go ahead and release him into the pond. I thought while the koi was acclimating, I would clean out the pond filters in the waterfall. These are the Aquatic Experts pond pads. And as you can see, they work absolutely amazing. This is where all the water flows through because that's the edge of the waterfall. And this is where not as much debris can fall through. This is the course pad that runs first. As you can see, they're both super dirty after like two or three weeks. But what they do is they allow a lot of water to still pass through the pad without restricting the waterfall flow. But these rinse super clean. As you can see with just the hose, they literally come clean in like two minutes, super easy. A little update on the turtle. I just threw some pellets in for him, but I also got him some minnows from PetSmart just to restock the tank. He doesn't really eat them like fast. He might eat one every like two days, but they're really good at eating the uneaten food and just helping like keep the tank clean when he eats pellets and like spits them everywhere. The fish come up and kind of clean up behind him. So I got some more minnows for him. Well, it just got really dark really fast. The lights on the koi pond are starting to come on. I do have underwater lights. They're just not on right now. But here is our new koi who got sucked into the skimmer. I can't get him out. He's stuck in there. I didn't even know he got Oh my, I can't get him out. Bruh. The waterfall's still flowing. I can't get him out. He's stuck in there. Oh, I got him. It like broke the bag. The koi fish is fine, but there's no hole in the bag. It just sucked it all the way down. And now it has that. Okay, so we are back. I have that little ring light and that other light to kind of light this up for us because it got really dark and I wanted the fish to have enough time to acclimate to get to the same temperature because the temperature is so different. So I wanted him to acclimate slow. I also tucked him under here so it wouldn't get sucked into the skimmer again. I'm gonna walk you over here. Now I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh God. And I just wanna grab the fishy. There he is right there, beautiful butterfly koi and just let him go right into the water. He is very cool and he's gonna stand out a lot with the white fins. He's a little bit small, so I'm hoping he doesn't, you know, get lost anywhere, but I think he's gonna do really good in the koi pond. So the idea with these baskets would be that this stays closed like that, and then you open it up and there's all your fish food, water treatment, stuff like that. Because as you see in the stand, if I get this out of the way, there's no room to store that stuff down there because that's where the sump is in my salt water tank. So by putting the baskets on the cabinet doors, it will save a ton of space and still give me a ton of storage space. So what I have done is cut holes here, attach little hooks here, and that allows us to hang these baskets on and close the door. We do have this problem, which is no big deal, but I'm just gonna cut one more notch out and it will be no problem at all. But this is a super easy and cheap storage solution if you're running out of space in your aquarium stand. And right here is how everything looks with it all loaded in. As you can see, we have a water conditioner, we have a measuring cup, my refractometer, all that stuff easily stored right there on the front of the cabinet. And here is the finished product. As you can see, this is a little tray right here, has all my dry food in it. And if we come over here, I took the one off of here because it kept falling, first of all, because the basket was too big and it was too heavy. But also it was just kind of too cluttered to have on both doors. So I put the second basket right under there. This first one though is amazing for $2, highly recommend it. Anyway, that is going to be just about it for today's video. Ignore the ducks in the background, they're quacking a lot. But I really hope you enjoyed seeing me go to a whole bunch of dollar stores, well, two of them, 
and getting some aquarium products. Now, I feel like the dollar store is really underrated when it comes to aquarium stuff. I feel like a lot of stuff there has value in the aquarium hobby, and I hope this video helped you figure out what those items are. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and good luck.